メガピー Five little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but only four little ducks came back. Only four? Oh no! Let's count. One, two, three, four. Four little ducks went out one day. Mama duck said quack, 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 but only three little ducks came back. Only three? Uh oh, let's count. One, two, three. Three little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but only two little ducks came back. Two? Oh my! Let's count. One, two. Two little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but only one little duck came back. Only one? Oh no! Let's count. One, one little duck went out one day. Mama duck said quack 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 quack, but none of the five little ducks came back. None, zero. Said mama duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack 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 quack, and all of the five little ducks came back. Hi, kids! Mugupi loves animals, and there are so many wacky, cool, beautiful animals out there. Let's go through the alphabet and learn about some of them. A is for anteater. Anteaters are pretty neat animals. Look at its long snout and bushy tail. Can you see how it's walking on its knuckles? That's because their claws are so long and sharp. Look at this one. It's feasting on an anthill. It's catching ants with its tongue and its sticky saliva. But they don't have any teeth. Their tongues just bring the ants straight into their tummy. B is for bear. There are eight different species of bears in the world. This is a black bear, and it comes from North America. Their coat has lots of layers of fur, which keeps them warm during the winter. These guys are big and lumber around, but they can actually run pretty fast, and they're great climbers. Look, this one's in the water. These bears love the water, and they're excellent swimmers too. C is for cheetah. Cheetahs are the fastest land animals in the world. They can run faster than 70 miles an hour. That's as fast as a car on a highway, and they can turn in mid-air as they sprint too. That's wild, and they run so fast they get tired, so they can only sprint for a few minutes. You see those black lines running down the cheetah's face from the inner corner of its eyes to its mouth? Those lines protect their eyes from the sun and helps them see far off in the distance. D is for donkey. Donkeys have been great helpers to human beings for many, many years, carrying things and people, kind of like horses. Did you know donkeys are very smart and can reason before they act? They always put safety first and have an excellent memory. They can remember places and other donkeys they saw years ago. E is for elephant. Elephants are the largest land animals in the world. They love bananas, and you know what? They can peel their own bananas using their trunk. In fact, their trunks are really amazing. They use it to pick things up, to smell, eat and drink, touch other elephants to show them they care, and to communicate. They actually drink water by sucking it up in their trunks 
and spraying it into their mouths. F is for flamingo. What's the first word that comes to mind when you think about a flamingo? I bet it's pink. And do you know where they get their amazing color? It comes from the food they eat. They eat shrimps and other foods that have what's called carotenoid, which is a red, orange, or yellow coloring, and that's what turns the flamingos pink. G is for giraffe. Giraffes are really tall, sweet animals. Their long necks help them eat the leaves and trees and see predators like lions and hyenas from far away. And did you know the spots on a giraffe are totally unique? They're like snowflakes or people's fingerprints. No two giraffes ever have the same spots. And can you see the tongue? It's black and it's also sticky, which helps the giraffe get food. Giraffes only need water once every few days. And that's because they get their water from the leaves they eat. And they eat a lot. Do you see those short corns on their heads? They're called ossicorns. Girl and boy giraffes have them, and sometimes boy giraffes will use them when fighting to see who's boss. H is for hippopotamus. Hippos are the second biggest land animals on earth, after elephants. Even though they're really fat and have really short, stumpy legs, they can run faster than most people. Their eyes, nose, and ears are all at the top of their head so they can see and breathe while in the water. They're also really good swimmers and can hold their breath underwater for five minutes. I is for Indian peafowl. This is an Indian peafowl. You might recognize it as a peacock. A peacock is actually the boy and they've got beautiful blue feathers. The girl peafowl is called a peahen and she's much less colorful and flamboyant. See how he's fanning out his feathers and showing them off? He does that to attract the girl peahens. Actually, the boy peacock's tail feathers are longer than his body, but he can still fly. J is for jellyfish. Jellyfish have been around for a long time. They were around even before dinosaurs. Jellyfish don't have brains or hearts. They have what's called nerve nets and it can feel changes in the environment around them and they move in response to that. They can be all sorts of beautiful colors like purple. These jellyfish can even make their own light. How cool is that? And you probably know that a jellyfish can sting, right? They sting their prey so it can't move and then they'll gobble them up. K is for koala. Koalas live in Australia. You won't find them anywhere else. And though you might have heard people call them koala bears, they're not actually bears. They're marsupials, the kind of animals whose babies live in pouches. Koalas sleep a lot, up to 18 hours a day, actually. That's a really long time. And they only eat one thing the leaves of a eucalyptus tree, which is actually poisonous for most animals. It must be pretty hard to digest in the stomach. Maybe that's why they sleep so much. L is for lemur. There are lots of different types of lemurs in all different sizes and colors. And some are vegetarian or herbivores, as they call it for animals. And some eat meat like bugs, lizards, and frogs. These guys are called ring-tailed lemurs because they have black and white rings on their tails. They like to hang out in groups and sit in the sun. One thing lemurs all have in common though is that they all come from Madagascar, an island off Africa, and the neighboring islands called the Comoros. Lemurs like to hang out in groups and they're led by girl bosses. They communicate through scent. M is for monkey. There are over 260 species of monkeys in the world. This little guy is a Bolivian squirrel monkey and it comes from South America. They like to hang out in trees and look, looks like this one's eating a fruit. Yummy. These monkeys also eat bugs and seeds. And you know what else? 
once, a squirrel monkey named Miss Baker got into a spaceship and went to outer space. Isn't that neat? She was one of the first animals to travel to space and return safely to Earth. And these monkeys are called the mantled Gereza. You know how they have white fur on both sides of its back? Don't you think it looks like they're wearing a cape? That's why we call it a mantle, which is just another way to say cape. N is for Nile Crocodile. The crocodile's sharp teeth, strong jaws, and aggressiveness makes them really good predators. They're pretty scary, aren't they? Actually, the crocodile's ancestors lived around the same time dinosaurs roamed the earth. Except those old crocodiles were absolutely enormous. And crocodiles are actually really closely related to dinosaurs and birds. Go figure. O is for ostrich. Ostriches are the biggest birds in the world. They can't fly, but they can run really fast. They run 45 miles an hour, and they use their wings like a steering wheel to change directions when they're going fast. And you want to know something funny? In some cultures, people climb onto ostriches' backs and race each other. In fact, their legs are so strong and powerful that when they can't outrun their predator, they kick them. They can even kill a lion this way. Imagine that. But usually, they prefer to just stay away from the predators, and their long neck helps them do that. They also have huge eyes that are even bigger than their brains, so they can see really well and far away. Have you ever heard someone talking about burying your head in the sand like an ostrich? Well, ostriches don't actually do that. What they do is lie low and put their necks along the sand when they notice an enemy getting close. This way, their enemies can't see them. P is for penguin. Penguins are another type of bird that don't fly. They're very social and they like to hang out with other penguins. This helps them look out for predators like sharks, orcas, or sea lions. You know what else helps protect these cute funny birds? Their feathers. You know how penguins have white bellies and black backs? This is called countershading and it works like a camouflage. When their enemies are looking up from the water, they can't see the penguins because their white bellies blend in with the brightness of the water's surface. And you know how penguins don't fly? Instead of using their wings to fly, they use them like flippers to swim because they spend half their time in water. Look how good they are at swimming! Q is for quail. Quails are another type of bird that don't spend a lot of time in the air. These ground birds can only fly short distances. Quails use sounds to communicate with each other, and these sounds have beats and harmony. Their special cry is called wet my lips and can be heard from far away. In fact, a long time ago in Japan, people used to keep quails as songbirds. R is for rhino. Did you know that rhinoceros means nose horn in the Greek language? Actually, if you look closely, you'll see that the rhino has two horns, one big one and a small stumpy one above it. You might think their horns are made of bone, but they're actually made of keratin. That's what our hair and fingernails are made of. Rhinos also have really thick but sensitive skin, and they love the mud and use it as sunscreen. S is for sea lion. Actually, S is also for seal. And people often confuse the two. These guys are sea lions, and here's how you can tell. Sea lions have little ear flaps. You see them? Seals don't have these ears. You can also tell by the way they move on land. Seals move by bouncing on their bellies. And sea lions use their front flippers to swim, while seals use their hind flippers. Now you know the difference between sea lions and seals. T is for tiger. Tigers are fierce and the biggest of all the wildcats. See its stripes? Each tiger is unique because no two tigers ever have the same pattern of stripes. They're fast and actually like the water, unlike other big cats. And they've roamed the earth for at least two million years. 
Now that's a long time. U is for urchin. Yes, sea urchins are animals. You see those black spiky balls? That's them. Their spikes are called spines and they protect the urchin from animals that might want to eat them. They don't have bones or eyes or even a brain, but they do have a mouth on the lower part of their bodies and they eat whatever they can find on the ocean floor. V is for vulture. Vultures are carnivores, which means they eat meat, and they're scavengers, which means they don't kill the meat they eat. Vultures actually play an important role because they clean disease out of the environment and that protects other animals and people so they don't get sick. W is for Watusi. A Watusi is a type of cow with amazing horns that can grow up to five feet long. They come from Africa and for many people, the Watusi symbolizes wealth and power. For them, the more Watusi you have, the richer you are. X is for X-ray fish. You know what's cool about an X-ray fish? They have translucent skin, which means you can see through it. Look closely. Can you see the bones inside these X-ray fish? In addition to being really cool and beautiful, their skin protects them by making it hard for their predators to see them. Y is for yellow bill jaw. This blackbird is related to the crow, but look at its bright yellow beak. These birds are also called alpine chops as they live in the mountains. Z is for zebra. Zebras are related to horses, but they've got those cool stripes. Like the tiger, each zebra has a unique pattern of stripes. So why do they have stripes anyway? Some people think it's to confuse predators and make it harder for them to see. But their stripes also help them keep cool and they're also a bug repellent since bugs don't like striped patterns. Thanks for learning about animals with me. There's so many beautiful, fascinating, diverse creatures and it's lots of fun learning about them. So what was your favorite animal? I also think it's important to be kind to the planet because it's a home to all of us. Well, this is the end of this video but I'll see you alligators later in another video. Don't forget to subscribe so we can learn more together. Bye bye. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O With an oink oink here and an oink oink there Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some chickens, E-I-E-I-O with a cluck cluck here and a cluck cluck there Here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck cluck Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on his farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O With a moo moo here and a moo moo there Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had a sheep, E-I-E-I-O with a ba ba here and a ba ba there, here a ba, there a ba, everywhere a ba ba. Old MacDonald had a farm, e i e i o. And on that farm he had a pony, e i e i o. With a nay nay here and a nay nay there, here a nay, there a nay, everywhere a nay nay. Old MacDonald had a farm, e i e i o. And on that farm he had a donkey, e i e i o. With a hee-haw here and a hee-haw there Here a he, there a haw, everywhere a hee-haw Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O Mega P! Hello kids! Welcome to the French Alps! You see back there? That's a mountain! That's a mountain in the French Alps! And they're rocky, and there are trees on it, and it's really, really high! There's another one. Lots of lots of mountains around here. And look at all these trees all around. 
And yeah, of course, we got the cows with the cowbells. Clang, 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 clang! that cows sleep in the barns, but during the day, they roam around the mountains, and when they're out to pasture, they eat grass, and they drink lots and lots of water. You know they drink 100 liters of water? That's a lot of water. That's like a bathtub full of water. And they have lots of different names. Cows is for the girl, that's the mama cow. And the papa cow's name is Bull, and the baby cow's name is Calf. Aren't they cute? Oh, do you see how they're swishing their tails like that? Swish, 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 swish. They use their tails to chase away the flies. Yeah, they can be really annoying, the flies. And you know what else is special about cows? They make milk. Yeah. Milk is really, really yummy. I love milk. Do you like milk too? You know that milk helps you grow really, really big, so it's really important to drink your milk. And milk is great. You know what else you can do with it? You can make yogurt, you can make cheese, and butter, and cream, and pudding, and lots of other types of desserts. And you know what else? You can make ice cream. I like ice cream too. I bet you like ice cream too. And you can make chocolate milk. And you can mix milk and chocolate to make milk chocolate. Or you can eat it with cereal in the morning. See how many things you can do with milk. And they all come from cows. I love cows. <coughs> Do you hear that? He said moo. Can you say that too, kids? Moo! Now your turn. Hey! Moo! That's what cows say. Well, now would be a perfect time to sing the cow song. When you go to the mountains, you see the grazing cows. When you go to the mountains, you hear the cowbells ring. When you say hello to the cows, they say moo, 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 moo. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
Did you like the song? I love that song. Ooh. Do you want to see a real cowbell? You know the bells around the cow's neck? Look, look at that. That's a real cowbell. It's so big. Come, let's take a closer look. See, this part's made of leather that goes around the cow's neck. And here we have the bell. It's made of metal. Look, it's so big. It's bigger than my head. Wow. Shall we clang it to see? Let's see. <gasps> wow, that's loud. Oh, and look here. Look, look, look. This is the horn of a cow. And we can make musical instruments out of it. Yeah, you blow through the horn and it makes a loud sound. Let's see. Whoa, that's neat. Well, kids, thanks for coming on this fun adventure with me. I had lots of fun. I love coming on adventures like this. So don't forget to subscribe so you can join me on the next one and the next one and the one after that and the one after that and the one after that. There's going to be lots of adventures and I want you to come with me. Okay, well, see you next time. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went, everywhere. Followed her to school one day, school one day, school one day. It followed her to school one day, which was against the rules. It made the children laugh. to talk about horses today! I'm so excited! Let's go! Oh, 
Hi there. Oh, I was having a moment with the horse. Horses are amazing, beautiful animals. Hi. You know, they're really fast and really strong. We used to ride horses to go quickly from one place to another and we used to use them so that they could carry heavy stuff that people couldn't carry. Yeah. See how useful they are? They were good. We were good friends. Weren't we, Horsey? And horses have a lot of different names. So an old boy horse is called a stallion and an old girl horse is called a mare. And if you're a little boy horse, you are a colt. And little girl horses are called fillies. They got lots of names. What are you? They've got big teeth. Oh, look at that. Let me see your teeth. Did you know you can tell how old a horse is by looking at his teeth? Oh, look, they're kissing. <laughs> and here we are at the stable. Do you know that horses sleep in the stable? And did you know that horses... <gasps> wow, that was loud. That was a whinny. Nay! Can you say that? Nay! That's what horses say. Did you know that horses can sleep standing up or lying down? Isn't that amazing? Can you imagine sleeping standing up? That would be wacky. Vegetarians! Yeah! They're herbivores. That's what we call animals that are vegetarian. They also like apples and, of course, carrots. Have you ever given a carrot to a horse before? I'm sure they would love it. Look here. This is the saddle. It's made of leather. Yeah, beautiful brown leather. The saddle is what we put on the back of the horse and the rider or the cowboy can sit on the saddle and ride the horse. It's like a seat. Yeah. And over here we got bridles and reins. The bridle is what we put around the horse's nose and the rein is what the rider uses to steer the horse. They want you to go right. I want you to go left. They use the reins to direct them. Yeah, isn't that cool? Look what we have here. These are helmets that the riders have to wear to protect their heads. It's really important to protect your head when you're riding a horse. And over here, look what we have here. Wow, look at all these saddles. Look at that. They're pretty big, aren't they? And down here, look down here. Those are saddle pads. You put them on the horse before you put the saddles on. This is like cushions for the horse. So it doesn't hurt them, you see? And look here. Down here, do you see that metal thing down there? That's the stirrup. That's where the riders put their feet. See what the boy is doing? He's making the horse go round and round in circles. Do you know why he's doing that? Mm -hmm. because the horse needs to get tired before a rider can ride because he's really excited now. He's got so much energy that he needs to run around and use up some of that energy. So he's a bit calmer when the rider goes on. Yeah. Look at that. He looks excited. Look how fast he's running. Oh, he's galloping. Wow. Look, he's brushing the horse. Isn't the horse pretty? It's a big brown horse. And he's brushing his legs. Look, he looks nice and shiny and sleek now. Look at the horse. It has such 
big eyes. Hello, you beautiful thing. And do you see how the eyes are on the side of its head and not on the front? That means that he has a really good view of the side, but he can't see straight ahead and he can't see right behind him. So you need to be very careful when you're approaching a horse. Make sure you don't approach a horse from behind because he can't see you. And if you surprise him, he might kick you and that's gonna hurt a lot. So you gotta be careful and you gotta approach his horse from the side so he always can see you and know that you're there. Hi, horsey. Can I give you a pet? So, do you see the hair on his neck? That's called the mane. And he's got hair that runs down on the back, and that's the tail, of course. Look how long his tail is. Look, it's a pony. A pony is a small, tiny horse. Let's take a look. Isn't he adorable? horse. Hi there. You're a tiny little thing. Don't you think? Look, I'm sitting on the pony. Well, thanks for coming along with me today. Mugupi had so much fun with you and the horses. Okay, well, don't forget to subscribe. All you gotta do is push that red button down there and then you can come with me on all my other adventures. I can't wait to see you again. See you later, bye bye. Mega P. You've got a long, 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 you've got a long, 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 you've got a long, 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 Treetops, you see the mountains, you see the world. Hi, kids. This is Jillian. Jillian is a giraffe, but she doesn't know it. In fact, she has no idea who she is. One day, Jillian wondered to herself, Who in the world am I? Now, Jillian was a very curious little giraffe. So she set out on a journey, determined to find the answer. She was walking along in search of that answer when she came across a big, gray animal with a pointy horn on its nose. He was munching on some leaves. Jillian thought to herself, Hey, I eat leaves too. Maybe this is who I am. Jillian approached the gray animal and asked, who are you? I'm Ryan the Rhino, came the answer. You eat leaves, just like me. Am I a rhino too? Jillian asked. Nope, don't think so, said Ryan. Cause you've got a long, 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 you've got a long, 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 you've got a long, long, long neck. From way up there, you see the treetops. You see the mountains, you see the world. So, Jillian wasn't a rhino after all. But that was okay. She just continued on her journey. After a short while, Jillian saw a perky, pretty pink animal with long, thin legs. And she thought to herself, Look at those legs. They're long and thin, just like mine. Maybe this is who I am. Jillian approached the pretty pink animal and asked, Who are you? I'm Floyd the Flamingo, came the answer. Your legs are long and thin, just like mine. Am I a flamingo too? Jillian asked. Nope, don't think so, said Floyd. Cause you've got a long, 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 you've got a long, 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 you've got a long, long, long. Treetops, you see the mountains, you see the world. 
So Jillian wasn't a flamingo after all. But that was okay. She just continued on her journey. This time, she saw a sleek, spotted animal. And she thought to herself, This animal's got spots all over. And so do I. Now this must be who I am. I'm sure of it. So Jillian approached the sleek, spotted animal and asked, Who are you? I'm Leslie the Leopard, came the answer. You've got spots all over, just like me. Am I a leopard too? Jillian asked. Nope, don't think so, said Leslie. Cause you've got a long, 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 you've got a long, 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 you've got a long, long, long neck. From way up there, you see the treetops, you see the mountains, you see the world. So Jillian wasn't a leopard after all. But that was okay. She just continued on her journey. This time, wait. What did you say, kids? You know who Jillian is, you say? And you want to tell her? Okay then, on the count of three, let's tell Jillian who she is. Ready? One, two, three, a giraffe! Thanks for your help. Now Jillian knows who she is. She is a giraffe, a beautiful, special, unique creature, just like you and me. Megapee! Old Mr. Johnson had troubles of his own. He had a gray cat that wouldn't leave his home. He tried and he tried to give that cat away. He gave it to a man going far, far away. But the cat came back the very next day. The cat came back. We thought he was a goner, but the cat came back. It just wouldn't stay away. Mr. Johnson didn't think he'd see the cat again so soon. This time, he decided to send him all the way up to the moon. So he threw him on a spaceship and said, Have a very pleasant trip. But... The cat came back the very next day. The cat came back. We thought he was a goner, but the cat came back. It just won't stay away. So Mr. Johnson got a box and in the cat went. The postman got the package and far away it was sent to the most distant place on earth, the North Pole. And that thought Mr. Johnson should put an end to this rigmarole. But the cat came back the very next day. The cat came back, we thought he was a goner, but the cat came back, it just wouldn't stay away. The exasperated Mr. Johnson heard one day of a hungry bear in a forest not far away. He left the cat in the forest to get acquainted with the beast. The next day's papers told of a bear in tears fleeing the forest headed east. The cat came back the very next day. The cat came back. We thought he was a goner, but the cat came back. It just wouldn't stay away. One day, the weatherman in the next town announced a typhoon. So when the wind was right, Mr. Johnson sent the cat off in a hot air balloon. The storm was mighty and it devastated the town. And that turned Mr. F. Johnson's frown upside down. The cat came back the very next day. The cat came back. We thought he was a goner, but the cat came back. It just won't stay away. Mega P. Get 
Gallop, canter, trot or walk You can go really fast or take it nice and slow You can pull heavy things like carriages and carts You come in different colors like black, brown or white Horses you run really fast Horses you have a beautiful mane Horses you jump really high Horses you are my friend Knights and farmers, cowboys and cowgirls So many people have ridden on your back You can sleep standing up, which I think is really neat You like eating apples, carrots and hay Horses you run really fast Horses you have a beautiful mane Horses you jump really high Horses you are my friend Horses you run really fast Horses you have a beautiful mane Horses you jump really high Horses you are my friend Horses you run really fast Horses you have a beautiful mane Horses you jump really high Horses you are my friend Disappeared. Mega P. 
The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The pig on the bus goes oink oink oink, oink oink oink, oink oink oink. The pig on the bus goes oink 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 all through the town. The cow on the bus goes moo moo moo, moo moo moo, moo moo moo. The cow on the bus goes moo 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 all through the town. The sheep on the bus goes ba ba ba, ba ba ba, ba ba ba. The sheep on the bus goes ba 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 all through the town. The donkey on the bus goes hee haw hee haw, hee haw hee haw, hee haw hee haw. The donkey on the bus goes hee haw hee haw all through the town. The pony on the bus goes nay nay nay, nay nay nay, nay nay nay. The pony on the bus goes nay nay. The bus goes cluck cluck cluck, cluck cluck cluck, cluck cluck cluck. The head on the bus goes cluck 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 all through the town. The cat on the bus goes meow meow meow, meow meow meow, meow meow meow. The cat on the bus goes meow 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 all through the town. The bird on the bus goes tweet tweet tweet, tweet tweet tweet, tweet tweet tweet. The bird on the bus goes tweet tweet tweet. All through the town, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. Subscribe to our channel and search for Mugubi Kids for more fun videos. You'll also find Mugupi on your favorite music platforms.